Hi, this is Ron Hao from TU Eindhoven. I'm presenting this paper entitled Combining Touchscreen with Passive Retry Building Blocks to Support Context Construction in Touchscreen Interaction. This is a joint work of National Taiwan University and TU Eindhoven. Passive Retry Building Blocks, RFI bricks, were recently proposed to support the interactive semantic construction of digital information. Based on UHF RFID sensing, these blocks provide battery-free, wireless, non line of sight sensing of virtually unlimited ID, making the development and maintenance easy when at scale. However, interacting with these blocks often rely on stacking operations, which are discrete and effortful. Also, since they are passive, they rely on an external display to show dynamic visual feedback. In this paper, we research through exploring the design space of combining touch screens with passive retry building blocks. We realize two conceptual systems, constructive assemblies, and a stackable touch screen to prove the concept. With constructive assemblies, RFI pillars, the users can define the touch interaction context through stacking these semantic building blocks on the base stations. The users can also expand the interaction space by connecting the portable stations, like performing 2D stackings using these tangibles. With the stackable touchscreen system, RFI tiles, the users can first upgrade the mode of input through stacking the rich semantic cards and then trigger the effects on the target through a touch on the stack. Moreover, the users can perform rich touch interactions through the stack of cards such as using a widget or performing gestures. This exploration expanded the knowledge of SCI with the rich ID building blocks. Both systems support direct and lightweight touchscreen interaction whilst keeping the tangibles passive. We also bring the stacking capability to the RFID approach, which is more efficient in ID encoding than other sensor-based solutions. We implemented the two systems based on the same philosophy. The touchscreen integration intentionally keeps the reach ID tangibles passive. In RFI pillars, we leverage the lens and mirrors in the cube to pass the rear projection up and use a capacitive touch sensing metric to pass the touch event down to the active stations for signal processing. In RFI tiles, we create thin foam transparent cards and tiles covered by a capacitive touch sensing metric and detect touch input using the active tiles on the projection surface. Both, uh, both systems use a stacking sensing mechanism that is similar to the RFI bricks, but their UHF tag antenna designs are different from RFI bricks due to their form factors. For both systems, we evaluated the basic stacking and touch input capability in terms of stacking sensing, touch latency versus accuracy and the display quality after stacking. The results showed that they both provide enough performance to support the operations in the proposed interaction, yet both are limited. Now, we revisit the scalability in the passive approach regarding the R5 pillar system. The passive tangibles are cheaper than the active tangibles because they are made of passive material. The extra costs of the external sensing system pay off when systems have more passive tangibles. Using a cheaper electronic-based stacking sensing system could further reduce the cost. On the other hand, RFI tiles is more scalable than RFI pillars because the tangibles are simpler and the entire tile grid share a single display. However, unlike RFI pillars, RFI tiles provide less support on constructive assemblies applications. We also provide preliminary results to inform future development and generalization, such as supporting the rotation operation and more displays, increasing touch input resolutions and types, and improving the visual quality of the stacking. In the paper, we also discussed the preliminary user experiences of the current systems. Summary. Our main contribution of this paper is a realization of a novel interaction system and knowledge created through the technical design which could increase our understanding in the solution space of reconfigurable touchscreen designs. For more information about the Reach ID Interactivity project, please check our website. Thanks for watching.